Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to Reductus TV. Uh, I'm uh, Show, along with your host. Four. Uh, we're doing the uh, second half uh, run on the uh, Castlevania with Richter. Uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, to be more specifically. Uh, last episode, uh, we just did the uh, Right Side Up Castle. This time, we're doing the Inverted Castle. That's correct. So, uh, I guess let's get busy. I mean, and let's uh, uh, go kill Dracula. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, I, I, I remember we were down here uh, to see if we could kill the succubus. That would have been so cool with Richter. Now that I think about it, bro, like that would have been an awesome fight. You know, it would have been cool too if they added in a cutscene just for Richter too. All right. Also too. Oh man, we loaded into a fucking good song. <laughs> fucking, uh, cavern teardrop, whatever. Yeah, what, what, I keep forgetting what it's called. It's like Crystal Teardrop? Yeah. Think, something like that? Yeah. Pretty dope. Austin, too. Uh, 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 did you enjoy your uh, your intro? Yeah, that was yeah. that was pretty yeah. nice. I, I mean, like uh, I like I like how you have like a um, a radio star or like a radio host type of, of style to you. That's literally how I, I talk at work. When, I, when I'm on the phone talking, talking, <laughs> right, to, talking right. to customers, I, I will talk just like that. And that's kind of where I got the practice from, you know? That's 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 actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the thing I quite enjoy whenever I like sit and play with other people is that I like to sit and watch them to see uh, to see how they act and how they perform, I guess. Yeah. As a uh, as a as a as a the the, the fine the fine director and founder of this of this fine channel. <laughs> um yeah, it's 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 uh, it's especially funny for like whenever people are like scared to like touch the microphone, they're like always like careful with it. And I'm just man, just fucking hit the thing. Yeah, it's, right. it's, it's, it's fine. Do your thing. Come on. Yeah, like 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 be like be comfortable with yourself and have fun doing what you do. Count Dracula CD. Which one is it? Pick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. There's always been a, a debate with uh, friends of mine about that. Sip the night. Yeah. Fuck that dude up on the rip. So uh, I'm a okay. I'm just trying to make sure we're uh, where we need to go. I'm still I'm still just like in awe of Richter's moveset in this fucking game in comparison to other Castlevanias. Yeah, seriously, I and, mean. And like and, and like 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 we talked about it uh, in the last episode, but like, ah, dude, even whenever you unlock the alternate move sets for characters. In the other games, it 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 doesn't feel as fluid or as smooth as it does in Symphony of the Night. This shit is so fucking refined. That's true. Very it's uh, ridiculous. True. Also, in this episode, I'm gonna try to cut back on my cursing. I was like cursing on my ass <laughs> the, the, the the last episode, but like but like whenever I talk about stuff that I'm passionate about, so stuff that I'm like really like into, like uh, you know, the truth comes out. Yeah, for sure. You gotta have passionate words for things you're passionate about. Yeah, you? I think I uh, I think I asked this last time, but does Victor have a down uh kick, a down aerial kick? No, no, not like on you're talking about like on Smash Brothers, right? Yeah. No, yeah, he doesn't have anything like that. Okay, but... I thought so because uh, Alucard has it, but Victor doesn't, which is weird. Yeah, I know. Actually, a, a lot of characters do. Ooh, okay, well, I took that, but. A lot of characters do. Uh, oh like my God, in, you're right. In order of Ecclesia, uh, Shinoa has one. Uh, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan has one. Jonathan has one. Um, like it became standard does, in all the does games. Does Soma have one? I, no, I think Soma does have one. Yes, he does. Once you get that double jump, yeah, you you should be able to do that that downward kick. So yeah, it became pretty standard in the, in the later games and stuff like that, especially on the GBA and uh, DS games. Honestly, though, and uh, even even in the. Uh, 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 in the later uh, director's game, um, Bloodstain, Miriam had a downward, a That's downward right. kick. That's right. You remember, remember you, t you telling me about that? Unfortunately, I hadn't played too much of that one. I, I really, <laughs> I've really been wanting to. I still haven't beat it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's which, which, which sucks because I was playing it for the channel and uh, a good couple of months ago, <laughs> I was going to like, like sit down and make a montage of it. Of like of like where I sat down and recorded the whole fucking thing and then cut it cut everything down and like and like did like a proper um like a proper montage of it. But I ended up losing like all the work I did for like the first video. Oh man. And uh, and it sucked because like the music I used and like the the actual edits themselves I lost. And I was like, you know, 
I, uh, dude, every time that I'm like trying to sit down and work on this fucking channel, <laughs> and I get a setback, I like it sets me back so hard. And, oh like, yeah. Like that's like the worst thing. I totally feel you on that. About that, like, like, even even with like the current playthroughs I'm working on right now. I got caught up in other things. Literally, what happened was that was that I uh uh, uh I had like a bunch of um like people just bugging me for random shit, and I was like, shit, mm -hmm. I can't record today. I can't record today because someone wants to do this, someone wants to do that. Right. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll just get recording on this day. But then by that time, I'm like, like uh, I'll just record on this day, and I'll just record on this, day. and then I just get totally fucking horribly, horribly backtracked. Yeah. Yeah. It can happen. It's, it's it. It's easy to happen. Yeah, and it, and and it uh, and it sucks because like like there there have been so many times that I've been like, all right, I'm gonna take this shit seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. Yeah, it's you determination, know. man. I mean, it's pretty tough, man. You know, it's just. You know, I uh I think I think that goes for like to show for anyone that has a hobby or mm, I, I I I guess just a hobby or a passion that that they do is that like. We all have those struggles, and we have to work on uh, uh, improving them. You know. Yeah. yeah. You know, take real. take that as a life lesson. Anyone listening? <laughs> another, an, another one of those late night, vote, uh, road talk hours. <laughs> you should make a montage of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's been a few. I think I think Persona like for the fuck the Persona Five LP literally has an episode called. Um, Dude, what was it? Real, real vote hours or something like that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> some, I, I, some, I, something Twitch came up with, and I forgot what I was talking about. Huh. Yeah, but for, like for some reason, each time, each time that I play, uh, uh, like, like, uh, I'm not, I'm the person, uh, not with the controller behind my hands. My hands, I'm always like deep in thought. Right. Deep in thought for some reason. I don't know. It's it's a it's a weird rant, but it's like late at night and we're playing Sixty at night. You know what, man? Playing Sixty at night at night is uh, is it an experience? It's yeah, it's an experience. It, it's <laughs> it's 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 almost like a throwback in a weird way. Oh yeah, it like yeah, definitely, especially now. This game is so so retro. You know, it's like this is definitely a throwback. I mean, you gotta. You just, is this just the charm of it, man? You know, it's just it's everything about it. You know, it's just the aesthetic too. You know. It's just, it's just one of those games, it's just, it has that magic, you know? It has that magic. I don't know, it, uh, and it sucks that, like, a lot of games don't... Oh, dude, the your, giant bat. It's your boy. Oh, wait, what am I doing? The the, the the only 3D monster in this game or whatever. Oh, yeah, with his, his wings or whatever, the little 3D effect, that's pretty nice. What's this? Oh, I thought it was uh, going to be a piece of Dracula, but I forgot that's only in a uh, oh, yeah, game yeah. campaign. You know? <laughs> no, no rib here. No. Uh... No eyeball here. Yeah. That's so dope that they added that into that. You know, they just give that little oh, the little nod, the little nod, the little nod to part two to Simon's Quest. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care what anybody says. I like that game. That uh, game... People like it. You know, uh, like you know what's rude is that whenever whenever it was you know for its time, people didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, but nowadays, I've 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 heard a lot more people saying, "Oh, I've always liked that game." And uh, like I like I can't tell if it's just you know hipster gamers saying that or if they genuinely like it. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's tough to tell nowadays. But 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 it's a good game. Difficult as hell. Yeah. But like, it's like I, I've told you before, I, I cannot beat that game without a guide. Oh I, no. I have to have a guide. <laughs> And even then, with the guide, man, it's like what, maybe forty-five minutes, if that. Really? Sometimes an hour. It's a really short game. I thought, I uh, dude, I've, I've, I've always imagined that game to be super long because I haven't, you know, sat down and played it myself because I'm just like, eh, not, not my cup of tea. Damn it! At least I don't get uh, petrified with those, with those guys. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, it, it's because, like, you know, Richter's, like, so holy and blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta say, I like that, uh, that, uh, animation that Alucard has when he gets, uh, petrified by the, the, the yellow gorgons. He's got, like, he's got, like, he, three, he uh, sprites for yeah, it, I He think. turns into that, to that demon. His true form. Or, or that gargoyle, whatever it is, yeah. I always call it his true form. 
And that'd be cool, like, if you could utilize that during Dracula's fight or something. Turn into a monster yourself. Kind of like, you know, like Devil May Cry, you know, Dante. Oh, you know, is a devil trigger? Yeah, you know, he turned into that, that flying demon. You're, you know, it basically turned into a shooter for, like, a second. Thing. Yeah. Like a, uh, I think it was, like, the second phase of the boss fight. And you're flying around down, down the tunnel and you're just shooting. Oh, look at this guy. Trying to poke me. Fucking a la carte of DT. <laughs> yeah, right? Nah, but, uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've always, like, fantasized about having, you know, like, have uh, Alucard transform into a free cast monster yeah. because he technically, you know, has the power to do so. Yeah, for sure. You know, we were talking about that, that the other day, or, uh, about the show not, you know, having any transformations for any of the characters. I thought that was kind of a letdown for me. Yeah, but it's, but it's more, like, modernized and down to earth, yeah, I guess. I or guess, like, I or guess like, it might have been a little too out there, I guess, but... I don't know, you know. I think I think they still could have done it. I think it would have been able to done what. Well. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there is still like a few things that Dude, I wish I'm happened uh, in the show. Like for example, my boy, you were getting destroyed by these guys. Yeah, I am. Um, I think I might die this time. But uh, but uh, like my biggest nitpick w w uh, w with the show is that is that my boy Hector got fucked over. Oh yeah. But also too, he did get to slay some fucking. Good waifu vampire puss. Oh yeah, for sure. That was a win. That was yeah. A win for, for, for team. <laughs> so, so it's like, did he really lose? You make the decision for yourself. But like, if you played his game, uh, Curse of Darkness, dude, Hector is cool, man. Hector is so cool. Like, uh, especially with like the uh, the the little devils. Oh, um, innocent devils, yeah. Oh, uh, innocent devils, yeah. You know, uh, whenever whenever he was like by himself, like cooking, like. Making his weapon, I think I forgot what it was. I was like, I was like, oh man, he's he, uh, he, he's gonna sit in his forge and then come up with some badass demons, All right. and then like do a comeback. But no, he didn't. I was like, oh, whatever, man. But but I like really loved how uh, what they did with Isaac. Isaac, dude. Dude, that was so badass. One how they, of, how they one handled of that the character. best character development or arcs that I've ever ever seen, man. They really flushed out his character. Really dude, well. I should have I should have thought that like Isaac was gonna be like. Just bad, and Hector would have had to put him down. But no, dude. No. Made it made a full comeback to where you're like, oh, dude, Isaac, let's get this shit, man. Good show. Good show. If you haven't watched it, fucking check Definitely it out. Definitely check it out. Yeah, yeah, even even if you're not like super big into Castlevania, like the games, the the, the show on its own is really good. Like animation wise, being being you know anime inspired, you know Western developed, really good. For sure. Shockingly, beats a lot of Japanese animation that's out there today. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I still don't think I've watched enough. I mean, especially modern stuff. I'm still stuck in like that that golden, oh, dude, that golden um, age, you know. The, the, nah, 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 nah. Check it. We have a uh, 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 slime anime one, slime anime two, <laughs> and uh, slime anime three. Oh shit! What what comes next? Oh wait, this one's a spider. <laughs> this one's a spider. <laughs> Yeah, so 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 uh, you don't know what I'm referencing, but there's there's this one show, uh, I guess like the main flagship, um, called uh, that one time I was reincarnated as, oh, as a slime. Oh god! Yeah, I've I've seen that I've seen that advertised a couple yeah, times by Crunchyroll. Th that one I hear actually isn't too bad. I haven't watched it myself. Uh, but there's another show called uh, I once farmed. No, no, I farmed like over a million XP. Off slimes and I'm super OP or whatever oh, dumb, what? dumb easy guy shit. And then there's another one I saw, but I forgot the name of it. But it's something else stupid like that. There we go. That's what I should have done again, you know? But you used the busted ass hydro storm. Mm. <laughs> I don't. I uh, I don't remember if we talked about it in the uh, uh, in the last episode. But whenever whenever they introduced Victor into Smash Bros, I was really expecting him to do well. Simon does Grand Cross. I I really wanted him to do Hydro Storm. I thought yes. that shit would have been so cool to see. I want to say we, we talked about it in the last episode, actually. We did. I think we did a little bit. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, it, it's definitely one of those things that, yeah, that, that should have happened, honestly. But, um, I guess Nintendo felt that was probably not fair, I guess, or it was just... Just uh, a little too, you know, OP for the character, I guess. Or like just too much detail that they weren't really gonna fuss with. Yeah, I don't think it would have been too hard to do it. Yeah. But like, but like, but like, Richter and Simon literally like have like no actual like, 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 
whenever you compare Fox and Falco, their move sets are totally different. Right. And if, uh, if you look at you know uh, Marth, Roy, and Lucina, they're and, and Krom, they're all essentially the same character with the same move set technically. Right. But their weight, like they weight differently. Uh, and also, see their damage is distributed differently, therefore initiating different playstyle for each character. Man, with Simon and Victor, you literally play in the same, like same, the, the same character, same. yeah. Like, 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 I think, I think if 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 they were gonna do that, they should have just made like half the skin color is Simon and half the skin color is Victor. Definitely, definitely. I I don't see like why they did that. I mean, because even in the games, their yeah. move sets are totally different. You you wouldn't know the main difference. Um, Simon's fire does physical damage, and Richter's does magical. Mm, Technically, okay. making Richter is better, but it it like like who fucking cares? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to hear that. that yeah, that click. click. Yeah. So I should have that door open. I don't know if there's a, a health pickup in there, but I'm hoping that there is. Which ones? Nope. Which ones actually affect your defense? Just fucking hearts. That sucks. Yeah, that all, the, suck. all, all that work for nothing. Yo, we should do we should do a uh, a Maria run. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> have you ever done Maria? Man, I have a, a little bit, but it's hard though. I don't know. I don't know why it's so damn hard. Oh shit! Whenever you gotta dash past the items, just not pick it up. Yeah, I'm right. The Hollow Knights. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, oh, ah, stupid. Oh, God, I hate those knights so much. Come in. We'll, uh, we'll bypass these guys. Yeah. Funny Rector can do that smash. Because his recovery sucks. Mm hmm. And Tether, Tether recovery just doesn't work in that game. Like it did in the last one, it's super cracked out. Yo, I, yo, I wonder if the stupid uh, elevator is bro uh, broken. Uh, I don't know. It was the last time, right? I think it was. Yeah, the last yeah, time. it was because uh, whenever you're playing as Alucard, it was busted, but and, and then whenever you played as Richter, it, it, like it was still busted. Stupid game. Yeah. Yeah. Not even it's it's, uh, it's probably just like okay. the port of uh, of this because we're playing it on the uh, PS4. Well, yeah, uh, Requiem. Requiem, Requiem, yeah. So uh, I had a buddy of mine texting me the other day telling me that the uh, H, uh, the uh, HD I, I call it the HD collection, but it's the remaster of Ninja Gaiden, the Ninja Gaiden trilogy. Mm -hmm. He was telling me that the sound was, was really compressed and it sounded pretty bad. Really? Yeah, it was, was kind of it kind of upset me. I was like, man, that kind of sucks. But I mean, those are ports of, of Sigma, so I'm wondering if, if just Sigma was, was compressed as well. I don't remember. It's been so long since I played that game. Dude, I haven't played Sigma. Ages, right? Hold on, wait, no, no. Is there is it is there a Sigma three? No, I don't think three ever got a Sigma uh, remake. Why well, not remake? But hold on, I gotta I gotta version. look this up real quick. Cause you know, I, I literally let that that collection pass me by, and I was looking forward to it. You know, I'm like, I, I saw the trailers and stuff, and I was pretty hyped. But I don't know. It just, I just kind of, kind of lost, you know, interest after it like came out and stuff. I was like, yeah, I can pick it up, you know, one day. Yeah, it, hopefully you just see it one day, just somewhere. You know, I love Ninja Guy. Ninja Guy is freaking awesome. I played very little of the third one, you know, but I was always told to st stay away from the third one. Really? Why? Just, it was bad. Just wasn't well at all. What am I doing? So wait, so wait, what was the one for the Vita? That was Sigma, I think. Oh man, I'm getting my ass kicked over here. That's Sigma 2, right? It might have been Sigma 2. That's called Sigma Plus. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Cause, Cause I remember I had that one. Here. I wanna kill that stupid scarecrow real quick. AKA the dude on a skewer. I was, I oh was. Oh my God. Oh no, first death. Dang. Yeah, that's my bad. I'm, Dang. I'm, I'm playing pretty sloppy. Oh, got an LP here. 
That was, that was for CC or Death Run. CC on next time. <laughs> yeah, right. I was doing so well. I didn't even really get a scratcher in that first uh, my first castle, and I didn't save it. But uh, but uh, ch ch check check that out real quick. What the? Okay, nice. So is that three sigma? No, that's that's the first one. It's just. On, so, on so, so what's you got that three in the background? That's the sigma. Uh, that's stupid. <laughs> sign basically, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you remember on Mega Man X. It was like that. With the, oh with, yeah, with you're the right. I get it now. Yeah, that's oh, the, I forgot I, what you call that that symbolization, but oh, it's the Omega Alpha thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's what it is. That's Sigma, yeah. I never realized that till now. What the fuck? Huh? Whoops. Yeah. Sigma Plus is pretty good. <laughs> I still, need, I still need to pick that one up. I think that one's getting expensive, actually. Really? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I'll, I'll have to look it up, but I think last time it was pretty pricey. And you can download it from, from the, the store. The store's st store. still open, yeah, so you can download it for 20 bucks, I think. Do you have uh, Persona 4 Gordon on the Vita? No, I need to get that one. That, one, that one's going up in price, too. Dude, that, that's, that's, like, that's like the pinnacle. Like, the best version. The, literally... Persona 4 Golden is where it's at. Like, I'm, I'm at a standstill with the Vita because, like, I don't know, like, where to go. You know, I only got, like, two games for it. You know? Dude, Japanese market, man. Yeah. Get it to visual novels, man. No, um, there's this, uh, 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 one YouTuber I used to know called, uh, well, uh, he, uh, he now goes by uh, Liam Rising Star, um, of the, of, uh, Super Best Friends. And, man, that dude represented the Vita so hard and oh, nice. uh uh and I was like man this dude's right the Vita the Vita is an amazing device but only <laughs> in the Japanese market only in the Japanese market which is which is what I wanted to get into it for but man there's 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 not a lot of like translated stuff that's like the good stuff you know I was, I was, uh, uh, trying to show over here that, that those scarecrows, I think, I think, you know, that they were, uh, recolored because it, like, like, they're called a scarecrow, but yet it's clearly a dude, you know, being gotta, impaled. Yeah, 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 being impaled with blood all over himself because, like, like, it's, it, it's grain. And it's clearly a dude being impaled. And then there's a female version of it, who's all bondaged up. Yeah, that, the... that was crazy looking when you, especially when you called it out. Yeah. There, but like, wow. but like, but like, but like, I I I went to go look it up and do uh, a fact check on it, and it's uh it's 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 not a sprite change, but I guarantee you, like in development, like like they probably changed it because of just weird censorship. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah, I could totally see that. So I will admit, I probably don't even need to be around here because I don't think there's any health picks up here. I, I, I'm just going to double check. Mm, okay. But, uh... But, uh, it's weird because this game, like, technically has nudity. But yet, yeah, that's allowed to pass, but not some slight gruesome, like, um, imagery. Yeah, I guess. I mean... I mean, I, I really don't see why, though. I mean, because there's, there's more, like... Questionable imaging, you know, just with other characters. Oh, yeah, you know? uh, we also got to point out uh, 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 this area is a uh, uh, fucking yellow brick road. You got the. Oh, yeah, reference to the Wizard of Oz, yeah. Yeah, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Lion. I hope uh, this mic's not gonna pick that up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, right now we got a fat, fat dog walking yeah, around. Yeah, a couple doggos. Hey, what you doing, boy? Yeah, this dog's like actually fat. He's so fat. Fat dog's a happy dog, yes. You got some words to say? Hey, psst, psst, hey, 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 h
We gotta give him a cool nickname, man. You, but... you know why they call him Sugar Bear? Because <laughs> he got type 2. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's but he's a real cool dog. I, 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 I actually like him. He's like, like, like what was it? Like German Shepherd, uh, Labrador, something like that. Yeah. Collie yeah. Max. Yeah. 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 He looks really cool. Too bad he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid schmoo. What even is a schmoo? I have no idea. <laughs> it even it there's even, a. It looks it looks weird too. Just... There's a there's a funny YouTube video where a dude. Uh, goes and categorizes like every Castlevania enemy, like every Castlevania uh, uh, enemy, and it's impressive. Wow. I forgot what it was for though. But then, but I then, like to I watch think, that. yeah, cool. I think I think he made a second video where 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 he categorized like the hottest uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Female oh, enemy you uh, know in what? the I, game. I think I may have seen that video. That sounds that sounds very familiar. Yeah. Which which that might be one of the same video, but I'm pretty sure like there was one where where you categorize every single enemy and then later where he did like the hottest one. I haven't <laughs> watched the hottest one yet. Also to uh this song right here, oh man, makes me feel different if oh uh, man, it's a beautiful song. Hits you in the feels. Yeah, I think I think I think if uh, if I heard this song live, oh, I'm gonna die. I, oh I, man, I should have got him too because uh, that, that 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 knocking sound, like it just like clears and echoes so like yeah, perfectly. Sure. Oh crap! Too like it, it's it's just so calming. It's it, oh man. I used to listen uh, uh, to that song put me to sleep. <laughs> fucking bone freaking out. Hit, hitting a corner. That's so hilarious. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, the creature. The creature will be straight through here. Oh, was the oh yeah, yeah. Frankenstein, basically. Yeah, basically. Ooh. Yep, and there you have it. That is the creature. Good night, everybody. <laughs> did, did you run into the next area doing a backflip? Huh? <laughs> See, did you run into the next area doing a backflip? <laughs> yeah. But I like how the uh, when it, it it finally switched over, he's like chilling. Yeah. Know, just looking looking uh, at the background. It's like the only part of the game oh, that's 3D. Yeah. Hmm. Well, oh, you know, I take that there's, back. Like, there's, there's several like, parts. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, we, uh, we already pointed out the the chapel and then the, the bat. And there's probably a few more that, that we haven't noticed. Um, Speaking of like 3D and like 2D, it's it's uh, it's impressive that, you know, uh, the developers released a, a 2D sprite um, hmm. Castlevania in a time whenever like 3D was like the big thing uh, oh, at the yeah. time. They took a real big risk. Konami. Yeah, and 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 didn't Tiffy the Night whenever it first came out like not do one at all? Um, I I really don't remember to be honest with you. I want to say it, it didn't. Like it became like a cult hit, but it didn't do like too well. I still just can't believe this. Is it? Is it? Can it? Can it truly be called a a cult hit now nowadays? No, it's to me it's pretty mainstream. Yeah. That just you know just kind of trips me out. Just you know, just how strong it's been going so many years. You know. Yeah. Um. That that that's the thing that 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 I uh I, I had something cooking in the back of my mind. Or just like a random stray thought was what was that you know something like Castlevania a really simple premise to go this far and be this popular and it, it, it no no I was thinking of Resident Evil like that oh yeah true kind of falls in the same kind of kind of category yeah just just to be this big massive franchise that you know everyone loves. I was gonna to mention too. It still kind of trips me out too. How there's such a divide with with people and, and uh, 
like the traditional Castlevania formula versus the Metrovania style. You know, like me, I, I personally don't have a preference. Like I'll play either or. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel like, like personally, it depends on what mood you are for what Castlevania. Because like earlier, you, uh, you were playing um, Haunted Castle. Yeah. The uh, the arcade um, Castlevania. Man, that game is that, that game is hard. Like I know Castlevania is you know a hard franchise. Dude, since 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 that was a arcade game, it had to make money. Yeah, they're they're seriously pumping people for quarters on that game right there. There there, there are so many cheap shots in that game. Like I think it's ridiculous, man. I'm, 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 I'm try, like I would say that it's way harder than the first one. Oh, definitely, man. The and then first one's a walk in a park compared to that game. And then how uh, how would you say Dracula X or Rondo Blood? Uh. Those are those are still pretty difficult, but probably not as difficult as. Uh, which one's harder? Is it Dracula X? The, that's the harder one. Uh, no, it's Rondo Blood. Rondo Blood. Rondo Blood. Gonna I was going to be the, har the harder one. I mean, I, I still have issues with, with Dracula's Curse. You know, Dracula's Curse is freaking hard. Yeah, that one I picked like once. I was like, yeah, I, I already don't feel like sitting down and stressing out. Yes, dude. Oh come on. Can we watch enough of these? What are they called? Jack of Bones or something like that? I was gonna call them the... Yeah. Slingers, but the Slingers are those other ones. Oh, there goes the spikes. Ooh, that kinda scared me for a second there. I thought I was gonna fall in between them and get, uh... uh get annihilated yeah. there. And spikes, man, they hurt. Oh, there we oh, go, yeah. yeah. Actually, no, they, they do about team damage. Nothing. Like, there's not even a switch, I don't think, or a heart. Just thing with Richter, man. Richter, man, you don't have to go to, like, most of these rooms. You can just run straight to the bosses, really. Yeah, but... Which uh, is what um, I should be doing, but, like, I really want to look for those those life's up, life ups. Yeah, because they, cause they do, like, help. But also, uh, this isn't, you know, like a sweaty, try-hard run. Yeah. I've always liked these uh, skeletons right here, the Nova skeletons. Yeah, those are super dope. It, uh, it's a shame that they never really made a return, I I think. Uh, I'm, yeah, I don't think they did. I'm pretty sure they didn't. And then I I, I, I also really like the skeletons and the... I, I, think, I think it's the caverns, not the caverns, but like... The, the graveyard area, what's it called? The catacombs. Catacombs. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I I like the skeletons that carry around um the the dragon skull or whatever. Oh yeah, those those priest ones. Those, yeah. Yeah, the one. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, those are on the the last, they, the last yeah, video. We yeah. Were... Yeah. And then they shoot the or the uh it, uh, it shoots that, it shoots that special blast. The, doesn't it have two beams that that ball and then it shoots a beam? Uh, I, want to say... I feel like I feel like somewhere one of them did that. Yeah, it might have been, might have been a different, maybe a different Castlevania, but I, I want to say this one only did that ball. I, I don't think. No, it... no, no, for sure, for sure, like the ball is uh, like strictly in, in uh, Symphony of the Night. Yeah, I don't think I remember seeing a beam. I mean, I, I do remember that beam from that. Uh... That one monster, that, that Garmoth or whatever it was, Gar I keep forgetting his name. But the one you told me that came out on the Oh, on, um, on that, the show. that was featured in the show, and, but, but first appeared in a Portrait of Ruin. Um, mm -hmm. Great, now, now I can't remember his name. I I told you the other day, whenever you uh, 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 saw it yourself. Yeah. Golem? No, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't Golem, but it's... Something like it that. It starts with the G, yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's that uh, it's that pink one with like the teeth and yeah. it's like like got two hind legs. Oh, these things. guys. Hydra Storm. Oh man, gotta go. Yeah, those guys deal some serious damage. The guardians. Man. Yeah. But they drop the uh, they drop God's garb and 
That's oh, a, dude, God's garb. That's a pretty decent armor in this game. We'll, uh, we'll go hit this save point up here once this thing opens up. Get a little health. I like, I, uh, I like how in the Castlevania series, um, there's, well, in some games, there's always been, uh, a certain playable character called, uh, Axe Armor. Oh, yeah. You remember that? Um, uh, and, it, uh, and it's literally like you get to play as the, the, the axe armor enemy type. Yeah. Uh, if you, if you had the ability to play as a uh, uh, as an enemy, who would it be? Yeah, who would it be? Man, that's a good good. Question. Or like, or like, or like, what's what's an enemy you could come up off the top of your head? <laughs> that's you know <laughs> that you'd play because there's so many to choose from. Yeah, there is a lot. And there's you know their so names aren't the easiest from. thing to remember. I mean, would it be a cool enemy type? Hell, even the guardian that we just fought would probably be badass to play as. That that one night, I think. I mean, cause you got those. You guys were like several moves, and they're all badass. Honestly, pretty viable in uh, Castlevania. Mm-hmm. You uh, you can actually use it, or uh, 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 use his move set. Stupid gauntlet. There we go. Never showed up again. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that weapon. I mean, it, it's useful. I mean, it's, it's. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, I don't. I, know. I get that, but it, it's even, just even, weird. Even, the, the, the 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 pitcher saw it. Yeah. The league player, the smite I, player. I, I don't think that ever made a return either in any of the, the later Casamanas. How about the? Oh, dude, I want to do that. The Bible, on. the Holy Bible. Well, it's got a it's got a pretty cool special. Uh, I do like the special in the Bible. It's pretty dope. It does some nice. pretty good damage too. Let's see, uh, actually, we're wanting the holy water. Actually, I guess I could take the cross. The cross is also pretty, uh, pretty decent as well. So how, so how would you explain that Alucard can do um, the item specials? Hmm. Because it just makes sense that Richter can do, you know, these moves. But how can Alucard do it? Well, he doesn't really do the specials. He, his moves, I mean, like the, uh, especially the cross, that's just his normal way of using it to, to use Grand Cross. But I mean, the fact that he's able to do it, or how he's able to do it, I don't know. You know, that's... did uh, did I Trevor teach him? Yeah, maybe. Did he uh, uh, did he learn from you know the, like uh, uh, the Belmonts? He learned the old secret arts of the Belmonts. Yeah, learned how to pull off some of that crap. Just in case, if I was safe, maybe. Yeah, right. For when the the belt mods disappeared, like they did. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the show forgot about that. Uh, uh, honestly. I think I think I told you, but uh, but uh, they're planning for a second season, and it's gonna involve Victor. Oh yeah, I think you did tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, they're skipping um, Simon, which oh man, it oh, sucks dude. that they're skipping Simon, man. Cause, cause Simon's one of my favorite Belmonts. They're skipping a lot of them, man. A lot of good ones. Um, they're skipping. Let's see here. Simon Matthew, right? Is it, was his name Matthew? No, no, no. I was thinking more along, along the lines of uh, G uh, GBA. Yeah, Christopher from 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 yeah, uh, uh, from Adventure. Um, I keep forgetting homeboy's name from from Harmony and Destiny. It's it's uh, Juiced, <laughs> Just or something yeah, like that. I yeah. keep uh, I keep thinking Julius, but Julius is way yeah, later. Yeah, Julius is way later. Uh, let me see who else did they did not get in there. There was a uh, there's a timeline I watched not too long ago. I talked about a lot of the, the Game Boy Advance games. Christopher, um, like I said, was was from the uh, Game Boy Advance uh, games, but no wait, wait, was it Christopher? Nathan. 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 Nathan was from Circle of the Moon, but it, that's what uh, his name. I, I, I was trying to figure out that boy's name too. But actually, he, he's not a Belmont, though. You know, think about it. He, and that game is not. It's supposed to be not a not canon. From, really? From what, I, from what I've read. That yeah. sucks. It's a good game too. Yeah, it's a pretty dope game. Yeah, because I because uh, because uh, I know like another game that you don't play at Belmont as is fucking. Portrait of Ruin. Yeah, Portrait of Ruin. Bloodlines. Bloodlines another one. Oh, and... Mm, 
Man, Izza is, uh, what's the, what's the guy's, or the, yeah, the guy's name from, um, uh, Hansi Castle? That's a good question. Do you, do you know his name? I, uh, I forgot, to be honest with you. I want to, see, no, I don't think it's Simon. <laughs> is he even a Belmo? Was he just like, no, yeah, yo, no, man, Dracula, steal my wife, I'm beat your ass. Yeah, basically, yeah, he, he, I don't think it was a Belmo. It had nothing to do with the, the Castlevania storyline. Completely not which, canon. Which was weird. I mean, I don't know why they, that game was like just a one-off, like like it is. But yet, but yet they reused, not reused, but keep some of the soundtracks yeah. from that game and use them as like a mainstay. And yeah. some of them are really good. Cross your heart. Uh, I forgot what the, what the other one was called. Oh, Heart of Fire. Hey, there we go. It's got some good soundtracks that later got iterations, remixes of it, and he remixed in Smash. Like I really need to watch another. Uh video about that about that game going in, going through the history because it's been a while I mean, yeah that, that, yeah that game is so like obscure and just like... you know what's question i've never watched a timeline breakdown for castlevania i've seen one from metroid uh oh really i've never watched one from metroid. That yeah, well, well 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 because your boy is a metroid boy <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. like dude i fuck oh man i love metroid yeah metroid is, is freaking dope man it's like another legendary game you know we talk about legendary ips like you know like castlevania for instance that's another one right there. I, uh, I just... Me and everyone else, I wish that Metroid get as much love as Castlevania has. You know? Mm, yeah. Because, like, there's way more games to play. Good ones to play than Metroid. That's, right. That's very true. Because, like, like you literally have the first one, Zero Mission, which which is the, the, the remake of, you know, the first one. The first one, The yeah. first one. Um, Samus Returns, which is pretty good on its own. The Samus Returns remake... Which is pretty good. Uh, the remix on the DS, right? right. Which which kind of sucks because you don't own a 3DS. Yeah, that's the that's the one console I, I still need to get, man. Uh, then uh, uh, then you got Super Metroid, and everyone everyone knows Super Metroid, man. Mm-hmm. That that's like the one that that put it on the map, basically. Um. Then what's what's after that, man? Uh, technically after that, you know, that's where like the uh. Uh, the, the the primes kick in, right? Yeah, technically one of the primes I think is like before zero mission or during zero or not zero mission, uh, like before the first one, it's like that. I I forgot what it was. Oh, Cthulhu right there. Oh yeah, Cthulhu. You know what? Back in the day, they 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 they, they didn't have the internet. Well, I mean, like they didn't have good internet to where they <laughs> they could look up like pictures and shit. You know. Oh, dude, that's like, oh, dude, that just reminded me of um, Silent Hill. Um, this is th this is a really funny fact about Silent Hill. Whenever whenever you're inside the school of the first Silent Hill, by the way, Ooh. Um, whenever you're in the school, all the little posters uh, that are scattered throughout there mm -hmm. are from what's it called? It's a it's a it's a kindergarten movie. With with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. What? If you if you look at the movie, and look at the background posters, there was the, it's are the exact posters. It's the exact me, posters that are in Santa Hill. That the, is insane. I would have never. I would have never to look even to look at that detail. It's like what the hell and, is that? Uh, and the reason they did that is because they didn't have you know references back then. So what did they have? Movies made in America. <laughs> yeah, no, no references to like American schools. Right? Yeah, yeah, which is you know kind of cool to like later discover, you know how they you know develop these things and design them, because like man, <sighs> designing American inspired stuff, like without references, is really hard. You know, like thinking about it, like it's really hard. Like, like, like imagine. If you're like born Japanese and they're like, "Hey, uh, draw a uh, a uh, American school bus." No, oh, yeah. Such a simple task, but you know. To us, yeah, but to those guys, it's like challenging, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see if, if, if I can pull up a picture. Um, Sound like man. How would I even? Uh, Ooh. Can I go to cop? Yeah. Oops. Here you go. And uh, I'll put this picture up for y'all so y'all can see it.
Dude, that is crazy. Crazy, right? Oh, man. That's a movie I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. It's not a tumor. That's a, that's a, one of those movies where like his uh, his accent is like super cake like heavy. Definitely. We can really understand him. Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 or like how he says it. Wait, but did I miss that other one? I sure did. But there's probably nothing in there, to be honest with you. This is the sailing witch, yeah. I've always liked them. I... Yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, the imps. I hate the imps. But they're fire everywhere. Ah, come on, come on. Get away. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that hurt. That hurt big time. Oh, oh no, wait. The the imps are the little, like, devil-looking things, right? The, uh, what? Oh, yeah, the little devils flying around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those, yeah, those, yeah, yeah those things are annoying. We're, uh, we're going to take on uh, Bezelbub right now and uh, see what this uh, Hydro Storm can do to him. Which is probably just going to annihilate him, to be honest with you. Bezelbub, so another uh, biblical character. Um, I really don't remember the history behind uh, that particular character. Oh man, Lord of the Flies. Yeah, Lord of the Flies, yeah. but also a, a powerful demon in, in, I think, Christian literature or something like that. I don't know, it's it's... It it's got a lot of lore. Y'all guys can look it up on yeah, your own. Yeah, it's time. got some pretty cool lore. It's, uh, honestly, it's, it's pretty it's pretty dope. At at one point, a couple of years ago, I looked it up, blew my fucking mind. Mm -hmm. Instantly go. destroyed. Yeah. God dang. Is 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 Beelzebub in um, Lament of Innocence that that demon in the basement or oh, something else no that's the that's the forgotten one the forgotten one that's right yeah. cool name by the way the For forgotten real. one that's pretty badass and that monster actually makes a return in lords of the shadows now, now think about it it's, it was the dlc for the first one. Oh man i didn't play and dlc he Oops. uh you, you you go you go back to uh uh Car it's, it's carmilla's castle right yeah you go back to her castle and he's that that thing's buried under there and he goes and beats it and you basically yeah so in, in so, prison in, i think under the castle or something like that it's been I've, a long time i've i've always imagined that the forgotten one was like some ancient like ancient creature you know that was that was like during a time whenever like god and demons were just like going at it before mankind you know what i mean yeah that's 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 what i like to imagine which which is like you know a scary thought. <laughs> that'd be that'd be that'd be something to look up to, like lore and history behind that. Yeah, I, I, that's a very interesting character. Makes me wonder if it's actually based on anything or if it's just an original. It's gotta be or something. Concept. Yeah, it might, it might be an original character. I mean, it's because because I've 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 always figured it to be a uh, original character. Never a biblical one, because right. typically with the biblical creatures or like the inspired creatures, you know, like you can look at the name and be like, oh yeah, that's that that's for some things. I think I'm gonna go uh, visit the chapel real quick, which is over yonder. Also, I, uh, I, ha I had a, re a realization. This is, um, what's, it, what's this part level called? Laboratory? Yeah, the uh, alchemy laboratory. Alchemy laboratory. I like how with this laboratory of all the Castlevanias, this one's the most tame. Yeah. With, with like, like, like typically with like laboratories, you'll see like vials in the background filled with like random bio goo. <laughs> yeah. Or like people being tortured, turned into freak ass monsters. The laboratory in, in Lords of Shadows is pretty cool too. I need to go back to the, uh, yeah, that uh, that one. To, to I, I do remember because uh, there's the Frankenstein boss, if I'm not mistaken, in that laboratory. It's a huge, a massive laboratory. Like I, if I remember correctly, like you you have to like. Uh, jump on like gear turning gears and stuff during during some of the platforming and stuff like that stupid gremlins annoying yeah they're, pre they're pretty bad
I like to imagine, you know, sitting in like, like, you know, the conference room being like, all right, guys, we need some monsters. All right, check it. There's this skull with butterfly wings that'll like hmm. fade in and out, and we'll call it a butterfly. What? All right, man. Sh uh, sell it. Go. Push. Someone. Work on this. Yep. Give me a character designed by Wednesday. <laughs> All right, uh, you know our infamous skeletons. Well, what if we made it like a, like a crossbones and they bounce? <laughs> Genius, send it. I think I cool guys like this. <laughs> I've always found those type of guys. You know the gur the how do you pronounce that? Gurka. Yeah, I think it is Gurka. Um, there's like three variants of him. Really? I didn't know that. That's actually... No, no, uh, not, not variants, but, you know, you get the one with the hammer, the one that throws the knives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're brothers, actually. Really? Yeah, from, from what I uh, from what I read or gather from, like, some of the enemy descriptions. Mm -hmm. I, I wish, I wish... This, uh, does this even, like, have a, um... Not a biography, a, a bestiary? Yes. That uh, describes, it, or, like, gives, like, a brief description yes. on uh, some of the creatures? Definitely, but it sucks is, like... Most games you can just access that like through a pause menu. This one you gotta like literally go through like uh, to the library. You gotta like you gotta go all the way back to the library, bro. It, it freaking sucks. Come on. It took up a lot of health too. Homo don't fuck around. Like straight up, I probably shouldn't even come back this way. If you were to suggest someone Ooh, to play, no way. Oh my oh, god. Oh fuck. A uh, Castlevania. What would it be? Like, like to first start out with. Mm, something easy. Something kind of casual. Uh, that's a good question, man. I mean, I guess the NES version would probably be a good entry. Just the first one? No, nah, not just the first one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe the first. But even then, that was pretty hard. Like, I, I, I don't know if that would be good, like, for casual, not, like, not really casual, but, like, beginners and stuff. That's, that's kind of throwing them into the meat grinder right there, like, right off the bat. Hmm. That jackbone going super slow. <laughs> I like how there's, like, some enemies that are completely immune to a time stop. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. It 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 makes you wonder like what is it? Yeah, what, what why? The, yeah, what allows them to have that property? Some kind of power, natural power they inherit or something, or just I don't know. Just rules don't apply to these guys. Weird, or? right? Just the just a weird thing to think about. Yeah. Boom. Like with all these monsters, you know, I'm like you can come across a lot of these and just be like, man, what is going on with them? I think I want to rock this for a little bit. The cross, the good old fashioned cross. Come on. So for uh, for those people that don't know, because because some people don't know this, um, the good old fashioned holy cross isn't an actual cross. It's uh, it's well, it's technically a cross, but on each end it's got stakes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've ever seen that in like one of the old like instruction manuals. And I was like, huh, that's what that is. Here I thought it was just like, you Ooh. know, like holy properties, you know. Go Jesus. Go Jesus. <laughs> oh, come on. I can't believe I'm being so damn sloppy do, here. Do. Yeah, but uh, Castlevania is uh, based in a time before, you know, our good or fashion Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, right? Uh. No, no, no. This is definitely way after after the the biblical Jesus. I mean, I mean, hell, even during Richter's uh, special, you see Jesus on the cross. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> Never mind, huh? Mm -hmm. I always thought that was funny though. You know, I I think I. I I don't think those two time periods actually collide well. <laughs> no. I, th I think like Castlevania is like super before 
No, 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 Scratch it. Maybe, maybe it is after. No, it, it definitely, it definitely is after. I gotta, I, I gotta check my history because I'm like super bad with numbers, which is funny because I like, I'm like super into guns, and literally half of them, you know, have a fucking year attached to them. No, yeah, this is like, uh, I want to say maybe 17th century, or uh, I want to see about 17th century, and like all that biblical stuff happened like probably like in. Like I can't even like tell you the year. Yeah, I that... found uh, uh uh I found it funny whenever I was playing uh, Portrait of Ruin, um, that uh, it takes place like during like 18, 1886, 1887. Yeah. Like during the Second World War, and I was like, dang, that's crazy. That's Badass. so cool. And I was like, man, give Jonathan a gun. <laughs> Actually, I think is does he get a gun? No, wait. I know Soma does. I, no, I, Soma does. I but thought that was funny when when he got one. Puts out the Glock. Like I, I, I would use it every now and then. It was so weak though. It, it was. It was uh like sh disgustingly weak. But you know um what was good? I've always loved these chicks. Yeah, they're pretty tripped out. But um. Oh yeah, and uh, and uh, order of Escalia, uh, whatever how you, how you pronounce it. Um, whenever you play or uh, play the alternate mode, where you where you where you play as like oh man, look at this, dude, Jesus, you got Christ. you got gimped. That's crazy. But uh, but uh, whenever you don't play as the main chick, um. You can play as one of the other uh, uh, side characters, and his, and his main form of attack is a gun. Oh wow! That's yeah, cool. and he, and he has like different like. Oh wait, yeah, and shit yeah, like that, I, 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 rem I remember that. I, I didn't get to that part, but I remember reading about that. Yeah, and me, I I I've yet to play that uh, Castlevania, but I do intend to get around it because right now I'm like trying to 100% uh, Portrait of Ruin. Why is it doppelganger Ooh. 40? Yeah, maybe it's different test subjects. Oh, that's right, because technically you fight it in the in uh, in, in the alchemy laboratory the first time, the right? The first time. Yeah. Well, not exactly in there. Like pretty you, you fight actually fight in the, the tower. Hmm. God dang. Homie uh, homie's hitting you with the weaves. All right. Zero to ten, not a true job of doppelgangers. It's not the fart gas version. Watch, it hit him on the last hit. <laughs> Ooh. I'm about to die, actually. Yeah. Whenever you fought him with the out of card, <laughs> you fucked him up pretty bad. Actually, I, I just realized something. How come we don't fight Richter? Yeah, right. That's that, that would make more sense, you would think, with the doppelganger, doppelganger. But I don't know. I seriously think there's nothing over here. Yeah, there's, there's nothing. Except, over here. except just the boss fight, and then that weird room with all the fucking octopuses. The, 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 this is the only place where these show up, right? No, they show up in other other spots. I think. Um, I'm trying to remember where. They are weird. Did they drop like sushi or green tea? Maybe green tea. That's what it was. Green tea. <laughs> they they should have dropped calamari. Yeah, straight up. Jesus Christ. Only took one. Was a waste. Whenever Rick is, uh, get hit, uh, gets hit, does he have iframes? Uh, no, no, right? No. Yeah, it's weird because Adakar has uh, iframes when he gets hit. At least I'm pretty sure he does. Stupid balloon pods. I've always found that to be like a fun little enemy. 
another uh, homage to uh, uh, Dracula's Curse. Really? Yeah. I remember those guys. I think in the Mad Force you first meet them. Didn't Same I know thing, that. like you hit them and they, they just throw like three smaller pods out. Uh -huh. I've been having a hankering for that game too. For um Dragon's three? Curse, yeah. I think it might be a Yeah, it was a hard turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gotta love that technique, man. <laughs> the spinny whip. Can you do that in Smash? You can, right? Yeah, you can. But it's not, you know, like as like cool or like it won't cover um the the character. Yeah. Like like it does here. Wow. Hmm. I, I, I kind of want to look up to see if there's like any like uh, director commentary to see what it was like developing these games and you know where their ideas came from and yeah right I'm pretty sure there is it's got to be yeah of course you know because it's you know it's a really popular franchise so there, like there has to be like some media outlet bugging the crap out of someone like I'd like to see like an interview with Iga you know as he talks about this stuff and how you know how development went and stuff I think that'd be pretty dope. It just sucks that they never gave him another crack at it, you know. Yeah. I'm waiting for this one to open up. Let's go. Uh, let's go to Orlock's quarters. There's actually the the mummy in in that uh in that place, and he's super easy. We'll just go take him out real quick. Then of course there's the um, Coliseum, but I don't think that there's a boss fight for Richter in the Coliseum. I don't think about it. I don't. Uh, I don't think you fight. The classic characters. Uh, Trevor, Cypher, and uh, what's homeboy's name? Uh, Grant. Yeah. Grant Dynasty. <laughs> Dynasty. <laughs> the thief. Yeah. No, no, was he, was he a thief or a pirate? Pirate. Pirate. I yeah. Pirates. So wonder who transformed him into a monster, though. Or I guess it was just like the influence the evil influence from Dracula's curse maybe just transformed him yeah that's 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 what I think it was you know fucked up the timeline or, or, or fucked up their lineage yeah there we go oh sweet yeah need that stuff so it was worth coming back here or coming over here yeah to pick that Ooh. shit up There we go. Don't think there's any more hanging around like that. No, but you, but you get to see the invincible uh, cow skull head. Yeah, right. Uh, the variant of the stupid gray skull, gray skull looking thing from huh. the, the tower, or not gray, it's like tan. Interesting song too. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna point that out. You know, the, 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 this song's very weird compared to the rest of the soundtrack. This, exactly, this one does definitely stand sound. This one and like the caverns one too. They, they really yeah, but the, but the like for uh, for the caverns, I kind of feel like it suits it because it's kind of eerie and weird. But 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 even then, I still think it fits oh, the game wow. very okay. well. And you do fight them. Interesting. Let's do it. I just storm all the way. Yeah, fucked up your boy has to kill his ancestors. Yeah, right. Oh, dude, I wonder if there's a mod to where you can play as Trevor. Actually, yeah, there is. I've seen it. With, uh, actually, I've seen it use uh, his sprite used for uh, uh, Dracula X. Actually. Oh yeah. Well, she has a cool move set too, man. He's got a few moves actually. He's got a uh, uh, his like stab. Um, swings over the like, like swings the axe over his head. 
he jumps up and will try to hit you. And then he has like his heat breath or whatever. I think oh, that's yeah. it. It's a stone breath, actually. Yeah, stone breath. There we go. Like a Rondo and Blood when he when he throws the axe in the air and then he rushes you and does like an uppercut. Yeah. It's so dope. Yeah, that actually is uh, pretty tight that he does that. Cool, cool fucking enemy right there. Always wondered, you know, I, I I think I said this before, but I've always wondered why like like an angel would be working with Dracula. <laughs> All right. But I just like the way they come in. <laughs> the narrow. Yeah, that is badass. You know, Ooh. you need Bayonetta to show up to come uh, kick that angel's ass. <laughs> right. Stupid apps. Yeah, so annoying. Like, speaking of Bayonetta, I, I, I really need to go back and play that game, especially the second one. Let's replay that one. I got pretty far in, in, into it, and actually, I think I, I got to the last boss, and I stopped playing it for actually like several years now. I need to, I need to go back and replay Bayonetta because I don't remember anything about the story. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good one. Lumen Sages and the Umbra Witches. Oh no, I like I like whenever I was watching you play and you're getting your ass beat. But I was <laughs> oh, like yeah. but I was like, man, you get you're getting your ass beat here, but yeah, you can play Ninja Gaiden like, Oh yeah. Like like nothing. No, I am still owned by Ninja Gaiden. Like I i s I've never beaten any of those games. Well I mean I mean not the not the original ones, but the but the Oh the newer ones? Yeah, the newer ones. The, the, yeah, the new yeah, the, those games are, are for me pretty not not easy to play but they're they're pretty casual for me now i played them so <laughs> much like i'm not saying i'm impressive or anything like that but i mean i'm not like you know having to really struggle too much to play with that game casually anymore. casually doesn't run through See, but, of, of, of black no, but, no big deal but that's that's on normal though like you know if i played it like on hard which I, you know I, i've done a few times i put myself through my punishment man it, it is is pretty rough if you if you play that game on hard they throw all kinds of shit at you man you're constantly on your feet, but I mean, it's still a good game, though. Like, I can't, I can't stress that enough. How oh, good they are, dude! Dude, they're, they're, they, they really are really good. Oh, he, even though he might be, you know, a masochist afterwards. Yeah, right. Actually, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go the other way and uh, let's go uh, fight Medusa. That'd be an interesting boss fight. Another Greek, uh, Greek uh, monster. Yeah, uh, she yeah she's she's over here with the church bells, uh, uh, in front of that mural. What's up, dog? Yeah, there's a bunch of dogs right here tonight. Would you like to see something into the microphone? <laughs> here. Sugar bear. Sugar bear. Hey. 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 I got a snap here. That's actually what he what he wants. Here. Here. I think he's been looking out for Here. looking for a handout all night. Here. Go, go like the floor, you fat, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you like started like spinning it so fast to the point we started going up. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter away. Black Panther. Yeah, I always uh, found this a cool enemy too. I've always, you know, thought it was cool that they would like morph and move as a shadow. Almost there. I think after this uh, last hallway. We'll hit uh, do some. Which I, I just love the fact that she's like in almost every Castlevania. Dude, like, she today. is basically yeah, basically in every Castlevania. Never get tired of her. And she has like Ooh. like her uh, her design has changed in basically every single one. Mm -hmm. 
whether it's appearance or move set. And I will say that her, her Lord of Set Shadow uh, design is pretty crazy. Like that, that I, didn't, I don't, I don't quite remember. I didn't her. expect that. It was like a snake, but like with hair. It was, it was, it was kind of crazy looking. Like if you can, you can pull it up on your phone. And yeah, check, I'll look. Check her out. Uh, the one boss that I, that has stuck with me, wow, dude. I don't remember what exactly it was, but it was like a giant raven looking thing. Oh, the witch. The witch. Yeah, I remember that one. That was a cool fight. I found I, I found her super cool. She's, yeah, she's pretty cool. Kind of said I'd kill her. Um. Whoa. So I totally didn't go the way I said I was gonna go. Nice. <laughs> Which one's the, not, not Curse of Dark, wait, yeah, 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 it is Curse of Darkness. Not Curse of Darkness, goddammit. Um, <laughs> Lord of Shadow, there we yeah, go. Yeah, Lord of Shadows. Didn't, didn't you suggest that, that we, we should have played Lament of Innocence? Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like, so like, whenever we were deciding which, what to play, I was jokingly like, Jokingly serious about Lemon of Innocence, but I was like, mm, it's kind of a long. It's a long game, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's so good. But yeah, it is a good game. Um, but like, but like, I feel like that's like, ow, bit my shoulder out. Um, hmm. uh, that that's like one of those like personal games where it's like, ah oh, man, I need some good content, like some good like sit down, mm -hmm. and like and like just talk about good good games. <laughs> I told you that a uh, that a uh, Lord of Shadow like is is, uh, is kind of a buggy game. Uh, I think you told me about that. Yeah, apparently, apparently it's like pretty known to be a buggy game, but I never any I'm... like I like I like I never experienced bugs with it on uh, on my first playthrough. Yeah, I can't I can't remember anything like significant that stuck out. Yeah, but like but like ever since I read like an, a uh, a article or like someone comment about how buggy. Uh, Lord of Shadow was like, what the fuck are you talking about? This is a perfect game. This is a good <laughs> oh. game. <laughs> and uh, and uh, literally, I went to go play it again, right? And whenever you, I went to go fight uh, Pam for the first time, yeah. Um, that uh, that uh, that goat dude. Uh, his uh, his boss arena. It's like a circular pa flat platform, and it's surrounded by like trees and stuff, right? Right. Well, whenever the fight loaded in. Uh, the background fell through. What? If uh, if that makes sense. So so all there was was the platform, and like the f like the front layers of like like uh the barrier that basically keeps you in from leaving like the the level. Okay. Yeah. But the rest of the background fell through and it was all gray. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, this is a bad glitch. It yeah. was, like it, it, it was super bad. I've never seen. See that that's like, that's significant. I don't remember anything like dude, that. It dude. was so bad. And like something else was happening. Like the game was bugging out hard. <laughs> no. But probably not as hard as uh. Dead space. No, uh, I was gonna say uh. What you call it? Undead Nightmare. That game right there, dude. That game is so dude, crazy. Dude, dude, it took me a second to register that. Undead Nightmare. Oh man, they they fucked that game up, man. Big time. They fucked that game up hard. I don't. This is what happens whenever you update, try to fix things, and make it worse. Yep. Yeah, I, I think I think it's you that 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 actually has a video of like. An opening cutscene where like there's animals inside, oh, yeah. <laughs> inside like a uh, 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 John's house just running around, being all wild and crap. I found I, was... I actually found that video on YouTube. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's like a little compilation of, like different glitches and stuff. Yeah, that's what it was. Us do those uh, where night uh, night riders or whatever are pretty cool. I like them. And uh, nope, nothing here. Can you get the secret room? Oh, I wish. Man, thinking about um, shoot, Cave Troll. 
uh, th thinking about uh, Under Nightmare, I, I, I haven't played that game in a while either. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. You know, and that's a pretty good game on its own. <laughs> even even without um, Red Redemption. And uh, even Red Redemption, I, I need to go back to play that game again. And you've yet to play it. Yeah, I know. That's so crazy. I, my first uh, play playthrough was really uh, Undead Nightmare, and I, I never touched uh, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, but you love Undead Nightmare. Yeah, Undead Nightmare. Such a good game. Freaking oh, man. awesome. Killer fish. It's a big ass fish. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look That's at that. so dope. Even the sound effect for it, too, man. God. Right. Shit's cool. Freaking cave troll. It's like, where did that come from? Dude, what, what gives him that power to do whatever he just did? Right. They shoot lasers out of their mouth and they summon weird pentagrams. <laughs> Shit was cool though. I forgot that they did that. I know, man. That, that, that completely just took me by surprise when he did that. I always just see them do the the tongue thing. Yeah. Like the liquors. You know, it's funny. We were talking about the the liquors of the day about how you know they're just an evolution and and the zombie. Uh, oh, dude. Yeah. Um. And uh. And, and the uh, zombie lifespan. Or it's too if a uh, uh, if a zombie consumes, I, I think that's what it well, what what it's theorized to be, is that uh, if a, a, a if a lar if a liquor cons know, if a zombie consumes enough flesh, and gets the you know material to build uh, itself with like you know like that that flesh that mm -hmm. mass to develop itself, it'll start uh, transforming and developing into a liquor. And I was thinking, uh, in RE5, I think, um, they have liquors, but they're forced evolution liquors, making them weaker oh, okay. than the original li uh, liquors and smaller, too. Because in RE5, uh, I, th their heart's exposed. That's right. But, but, uh, uh, you said, too, like, like, what if, what if you just, like, leave a liquor by itself and see where it goes after that because you know you, you know what thinking about it creatures that were like influenced by the t-virus or like purposely manufactured by the t-virus always seem to be kind of unstable oh yeah and would always you know mutate rapidly and viciously but a, a liquor seems like a very natural progression you know? yeah uh, a progression and, and evolution uh, for the two virus and I bet you if they stuck with like the liquors and let the virus do what it wanted to do without you know fucking with it to more or like yeah. to try to control it it probably would have turned into some crazy looking right. creatures that were like intelligent and well, a lot more scarier than whatever uh, umbrella had in mind well, definitely man definitely this... just the uh, just the one of those like random thoughts Okay, let's go fight that stupid mummy I was talking about. Yeah. I like I like how you're like, oh yeah, that mummy, knock him out real quick. Proceeds to go throughout the whole castle and pick up items. later, yeah. <laughs> now we don't need no stinking money. Oh, but it's blue. It's got a lot in it. Yeah. I'll fight those crow guys over here. Oh, there's dudes. Karasumi? Whenever you first find him, I always uh, assumed that it was like one of like Dracula generals or something like that. Yeah. Wow. There we go, finally. Yeah, but seeing him as like uh, under, under the enemy type in the other castle, he's probably, I, probably got some lore behind him too. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to say his enemy description uh, puts him as like Lord of the Crows or Lord of Ravens or something like that. This guy. This guy. 
Poison Cloud. Aqua move down in a second. There we go. Like the way he dies. Turns to dust. Dust. To so dust. old. Another recurring character or a uh, boss in um, Castlevania or a mummy. Uh, uh, a mummy. Yeah. Shit, we were just fighting him in a haunted castle. He's a pain in the ass. Yeah, because every time they show up, they throw a bandage at you. Literally, like on frame <laughs> one, that flies at you on Mach Ten. And it's random if it's if it's the uh, if they if they shoot one low, which you can't hit for some reason, and one that goes middle, which you either, which I think you you can hit it. I'm not sure. I don't I don't remember. Yeah, I, I believe you can. Yeah, I, I did I did it a couple times. Okay, so uh, not to change the subject or anything, but uh, I think uh, I got pretty much the majority of it. There's two bosses left, technically three. There's uh, gonna be Dracula. I'm sorry. There's gonna be four. Yeah, so, so death, and then the Gallimoth. Oh, dude. And then Shaft. Yeah. And then Dracula. So. Gallimoth's gonna be kind of tough, though. No, not with Hydro Storm. Really? Either either Hydro Storm, or I can use Thousand Thousand Blades. Thousand Blades will take him out like, like nothing. Hmm. I'll do it with Thousand Blades, but let's go take out Death real quick. I can't believe we're almost through this already. Actually, you know what? I can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh shockingly, this th th this is almost two hours in. Oh wow. Yeah. That's because I died a couple times. Uh, let me see. That's fine. I might I, I might I might trim it up a little bit so it uh, it, uh, it 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 could be a nice easy smooth watch. Trim the fat. Yeah. Because like personally to me, I like that. Like that's what I like. I don't like bullshit. Yeah. But uh, but also, I I I don't like videos that are like heavy edited too. I'm I'm very picky. But like, but you know like like um if you don't if you can't watch your content then you shouldn't be making content. If you can't enjoy what you make then you, then you shouldn't be. You know, right, right. May make itself or be able to critique your own stuff. Yeah, and, like you know. Yeah, if you we, definitely, if you don't like what you're putting out, then yeah, you need to change something. Yeah, because like, because, because like generally, like, I think, I think, I think what I make is pretty good because I've watched like almost all of my episodes, just like even like multiple times, just like sit there and watch them. I think I think they're good, and it's uh, and it sucks because like the like the main reason why I make content is because all the content creators that I used to watch no longer make content anymore, and it sucks. All the, uh, all that's on my feet are fucking anime girls, <laughs> oh. and I'm like, man, what what happened? The waifus. Yeah. That's what happened. Wife using guns. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh yeah, that's right. We're oh fight. man. What? Forgot about that. There's no fight here with Richter. Wait, really? Yeah, that's interesting. You I thought I thought there was. You don't fight death? No. Nope. Why? I have no idea, but but uh, I forgot about that. Be honest with you. All right, so we're, we're just gonna cut to uh. Gallimoth, really. Yeah, weird. Sorry about that, dude. That is weird. You don't fight death. That's stupid. Yeah, that is, that is actually pretty stupid. All right, all right, here we go. I'm just gonna chill. <laughs> oh. Dirty ashes. Oh, jeez. Oh my God. Dead. Oh crap. Alright, so what y'all just saw was, you know, pretty cool move that if you let the ice witch or whatever do her thing, yeah, she does that. We were looking for the knife, by the way. Anyway. Which, I don't even think it's it's anywhere near me right now. No, I, I doubt it. Like you said, don't die. Yeah. Like, I really thought I would be able to slide through most of those skeletons. 
But he's so vulnerable after he slides and he gets back up real quick. You're wide open. You know, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Richter doesn't have a, uh, like, uh... Man, I forgot, I forgot what Samus's, uh, like, run ability is called. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I forget the name of it, too. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I forget he'd have uh, something like that in his arsenal. Right, here we go. Just for the fun of it. I'm definitely going to have to save it right here. Now, just watch how ridiculously stupid this is. Okay. I mean... I should just, I don't know why I didn't do that. I said I was going to do it. But, 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 you, you couldn't find the knife and yeah. It was pretty far. All right, time to show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't realize how long it goes for. <laughs> that was just one body. And uh, this movie here is called A Thousand Daggers, where he throws uh, a thousand daggers. You know what, it might be better on in his face. Oh wow. I had a cheesy boss one on one. God, piece of shit, man. Basically. Good night, sweet prince. All right, now it's time to go kill Shaft. Time to go give him the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> you know that have a a full screen attack for the ice girls. So do you remember these guys in Curse of Darkness? The Blood Soul Skeletons? No. Wait, Curse of Darkness? Yeah. No. So there was actually a way to actually kill them with uh I think holy power. Like you you would like I think you were able to infuse like your weapons like with different attributes and stuff and if you had like a holy weapon or a weapon that had holy attributes when you attack the blood skeletons they would like turn into light and like disappear oh wow yeah it's pretty cool um i know uh i know one abomination Ooh. in uh in a portrait of ruin is the is the the bloody axe armors Oh man! Oh god! Where you where you cut an axe arm and then they come back? Yeah. It's I'm like all right, that. cool. I'll put that on a regular enemy. Why don't you like? <laughs> huh. Oh, there goes a course weed. Should let it play out. Let the head stick out. Yeah. All right. So back to the uh, the giant clock. Speaking of giant clocks, you know that that's another staple right there, having the clock tower and. In every Castlevania game, I've always loved those stages. Like the clock tower stages are always like my favorite. Always the hardest too. Yeah, definitely. They don't. Those stages never. They don't fuck around. But man, the the background for those things always something convoluted and stuff going on in the background. <laughs> and uh, and the environment itself for it. Oh, always cool to see the. The, the 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 clock tower stages. I always feel like they had better songs too. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Think... Well, except for the one for uh fucking uh, Chronicles. I I still I still heard that one in my dreams. I know what song you're talking about. Cancer ass stage, man. Fuck that stage. Oh my god. Hear that shit, my nightmares. The uh the song on Aria Sorrow was really good. Nice like rock tune and stuff. Okay. 
Oh shit, uh, I forgot to tell you. Um, so, so for that Resident Evil like mini game for its for, for its ghouls and goblins, right? Yeah, yeah. It's called uh, Ghouls and Humunculi. Oh, cool. Yeah, so let's see if I can find a good little picture of it. And there it is. Oh wow, that's freaking cool. Yeah. Holy cow. So, so it's only for the Switch version of Revelations. No shit. Yeah. And apparently there's like a like a little first person shooter uh, for Jill. Or something like that. Oh, come on. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Yeah, my ass kicked on one of these things just a while ago. Oh. This don't matter because I'm going to swap up for the uh, holy water anyways. I like I like how they have those little like spike things under underneath the ah <gasps> oh, man remember what you call the like the architecture or whatever. Oh crap! And you walked into that. He almost blasted me in the face. Fucking death traps, man. Light skeletons, man, they really make me nervous. Really? Yeah. I mean, because that beam does, oh, does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh. You almost got some gap. Should have just backflipped that. That would have been more stylish. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Get some style points. Triple S ranking. Yeah. Fucking give uh, give uh, Richter <laughs> a uh, a style a, a style meter. <laughs> Oops. Picking up the bottle crinkling. Down and get pick up a. Let's get the uh, holy water. Holy water. Got all these wonderful weapons to choose from. Oh my Aww. god! That's it. <laughs> oh, that's your weapon. You gotta use it now. Do like a sub weapon only run. Dude, that, that would that would suck. That would yeah, that would kick your ass. Shaft. Granted, though, holy water does, you know, like, like Hydrostorm literally kills most of the bosses in, mm -hmm. one, in one go. So it couldn't be too bad. But but if you really challenge yourself, be like, whatever set weapon I pick up is, 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 uh, is what I gotta roll with. Yeah. Or like, or like pick up as you go, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like right off the bat, you don't even like ask questions. There's no dialogue or anything. Wow. Shafted. <laughs> Is that you called it? That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Give him the shaft. What a stupid name for a character, by the way. I've 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 never liked that name. All right. Magician Shaft. Dude, do we not have to fight Dracula? I was just about to ask that. Oh man, it's been so long since I've beaten it with Richter. I don't remember. I guess not. I think this is it. You don't fight Dracula. What a ripoff, right? Yeah, no, dude, no death, dude. No all that, all that for nothing. No succubus. No Dracula. <laughs> um, what else were we messing? Uh, I, th I think that was it. Yeah. Was surprised to get the the Trevor Sci-Fi and Grant oh, yeah. fight though. I, I didn't think that was gonna happen. That's fucked up, G-Man or uh, D-Man making making Richter fight his uh. Familia, like that. All right. Well, that was that was fun. I died like a million times, but 
could have been it could have been a lot more cleaner but to be fair you you were kind of like rushing it too yeah i'm i'm pretty rusty at this i haven't played a richter's mode in a long time for some reason i play i, I play a lot of alucard i don't know why i it's so weird. I feel like I played a lot of Richter, too much Richter, that I want to play more Alucards. But I think it's yeah, because like, because like, I remember like watching you like a, a good while back, uh, playing a lot of Richter. Yeah, like and now and now you're playing a lot of uh, Alucard. Alucard. So I'm, you I'm, got like you got like three uh, playthroughs of Alucard going on on like multiple things. Yeah, I do. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. But I'm like I'm I, like I was telling you, I'm savoring it, man. So I'm like. Slowly pacing myself through the games and stuff. When you to... when you finally gonna pick up Bloodstain? Oh, I have. I've been playing <laughs> that. Finish that, it, but... I mean. Well, that... shit. What am I gonna finish Bloodstain? Yeah, find right. out. Find out. Never. Yeah, right. I want to because they they, they got all those DLC free DLCs. Free by DLCs. The way. And it's funny too because when you go to click on it to try to play it, it'll tell you that they recommend you to beat the main game first before you play. This. Oh, really? And every time I read it, it kind of it kind of like you know taunts me a little bit. Say, you know, hey, like, you hey, should you, probably you need uh, to beat this try game, bro. The game. <laughs> But it's, it's cool. I mean, that, that game is actually not, not bad. I mean, I know it was kind of a buggy mess in the beginning there. Yeah, but, you know, they begin to fix that shit you out. And, and to be fair, it, it, uh, it's also the first uh, development of uh, the first, like, company's game. Right. Which is pretty good. Right. But uh, I think I think they're making a second one. You know, I think you're right. For, I think uh, I, I think uh, I for uh, Bloodstain. I think I heard the same thing. I I, I don't know if Mary's going to be the, same, uh, the main character again. But uh, I did. I, I did enjoy her. I, I love her design. She's super pretty. I seriously want to do uh, a co-op on that game on, on uh, the, uh, the the eight the eight bit ones. Uh, the Curse of the Moon. Oh, Curse dude, of Moon. Curse of the Moon. Yeah. Dude, those games are good. So, so part Part Two has a couch co-op mode. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I was trying to play it with with. Uh, with oh, you're a homegirl. Yeah, and and she it she didn't like it because it was kind of difficult for her. You know, those kind of games like. Like, like you were asking me about what what's a good Castlevania to get somebody into. Like, a game like that, which is, like, all the way Castlevania, like, classic Castlevania. Yeah, well, it's by the original director, so... And it's, like, it, that, that's definitely not something you want to throw at a newcomer and think about it. Because she was having a hard time. She she never really played a Castlevania. Really. Do you have it? Yes, I have. Oh, shit, I, put it up right now. <laughs> it's on it's on the Switch, and I, and I haven't. I've been, I've been dying to play with somebody. Um, One thing one thing that I've been wanting to do is I look into the soundtrack for uh, those two. Are, are, they, are they any good? They're solid. They're really solid, man. Mm. Especially the first one. The first one's got some, some uh, basically just 8-bit eight, eight remixes of a couple of the songs from, from uh, Bloodstain. Yeah, because like, uh, Bloodstain soundtracks is pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's actually really good. I, I was surprised. Well, not that. Actually, I shouldn't have been surprised. You already know. It, it should have been expected. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you know, with, with the, the obvious influence there of uh, of uh, Castlevania, I mean, of course the music's going to follow right behind in that same kind of, you know, traditional set. So, yeah, I, I really need to beat that game. I mean, it's, it's kind of a shame. There's a lot of I do. I got a total back catalog. I think I mentioned it in the last episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my with, back with catalog how much shit you gotta play. is just ridiculous. And I think I even said, you know, yeah, I, I, I might have to retire to wait to play everything. Oh, dude, dude. So, so I think, I think, I, I think I told you, but like th this channel is my back catalog. It is something I want to play. This thing and beat it. I like, I like, I like, I like to get myself to record it in order to play it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's actually a good way to, to to play some of these things, you know. I'm just really glad I, I beat uh, Katana Zero, man. That was a real good one. You know that they're making DLC for that to finish it off, right? Are you serious? Yes, oh my dude. God, bro. Well, they've been saying that for a while, but it's been a while, you know, since that game yeah, came out. It's been, it has been a while. I like, I like to go back and play it again. Like even doing like the, uh, they got what, a speed run mode. Yeah. That 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 mode is fun to do too. I like going through it and, and just like real quickly. Yeah, that game. Uh, uh, uh. I finished it and I was like, I sat there a while, just like psh, blown Mind away blown, yeah. with the with how good it was. And it and it's funny because like you and my friend were telling me play Katana Zero, play Katana Zero. Yep. And one day it was free on Xbox uh, Game Pass. It's on Game Pass That's for cool. the uh, for the PC. Oh wow! And nice. and uh, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, it's right here. I'm sitting on my computer. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> and I did it. Oh man, you dude. didn't regret it. You didn't regret it. That's yeah, I thing, didn't you know? regret it at all. Like uh, even then, I, I when I downloaded, I had no idea what I was getting into. Like I, I just saw a couple of, like gameplays of it on YouTube and people talking about it. And I was like, actually, looks like something I would play. You know, I'm like, let me give it a shot. And as soon as I played it, I got hooked. And I was like, man, this game is so next level. 
Especially that soundtrack. That soundtrack is so next level. Oh, like synthwave, man. That 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 whole new era of yeah, of new slash old era. Yeah. yeah. Good. All right. Well, uh, did, uh, well did, did we unlock the the typewriter and the infinite rocket launcher? And, oh, dude, and, for the and, for and, for and New the, Game Plus and the Matilda. <laughs> no. For uh uh uh, uh for Maria and uh and a uh, mob boss Victor. Actually, uh, I still think it's crazy about that stupid ring of of uh. Of, uh Varda. Varda that I was telling you about how you ha- you have to have a clear game to to even uh, obtain that you know and I was showing you on the mobile game I already had it and it was my first playthrough and I'm like beast mode right now with, with the the god's garb and even the kiss the chrysogram the chrysogram the, the, the stupid that stupid sword. busted wind sword <laughs> it's in, it's in blessing but it's not a, it's, it's nowhere as near as I'm breezing through that game it's it's fuck it's ridiculous I'm like and and I'm also this another one that I'm like kind of just like savoring so I'm going through slow but I mean. It, it's ridiculously easy like it's so stupid like go you, you know your first playthrough going through you're, you're not going to know about those weapons you're not going to know about that loadout so no it's not man that's, that's what makes it hard but if you know about that shit and you get that shit in the beginning see see that's what's like cool about like the metroid style castlevania is that you can sit there and grind, fr- grind out these monsters and learn what they drop, what what items they give you, or what skills they give you, depending on which uh one you're playing, and just sit there and really break down and explore into it. Yeah. Because like with the with the Symphony of the Night, you could sit there hours on end, just being like, I wonder what Bro. this monster has. I wonder if this monster has. I really wonder how many hours I have like total my whole lifetime playing this game. Like I wish there was a way, or I can like go back and like actually calculate it like accurately. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I would guess that maybe it's at least in the, I don't know. Th- in the thousands. At in least. the thousands, do you think? Well, I think, I think so. To put it in, uh, it's pers- in its perspective, I have, I have almost two thousand hours on Smash Bros. See, there you go. I'm like, so it's not like out the outside the realm of a uh, impossibility. Yeah, but that's like, but that's like playing it every day, every day, yeah. every night. Yeah, I mean that's how I was with this game. I mean, when I had a PS One back in the day. Oh yeah, back the yeah, I forgot about that. It was really all I had. You know, this is, I would play the shit out of it, and and you know, even though I would, you know do the Richter run all the time and and Alucard run I was still doing you know the the luck run and still doing the axe armor run and stuff and oh the axe armor run yeah that that's actually fun to do I, I do like doing that you know just like I'll, I'll I usually I don't fuck with the axe armor until I get to a boss and I'll fight a boss with the axe armor and actually he takes them down pretty quick mm. it's, it's pretty cool I, I definitely like to go back to to those and check those out again it it, do, it does make the game a little bit more difficult. I will say there's some. Uh yeah, kind of whenever a whenever I played it for the first time, I was like, oh man, this shit's kind of fucking hard. Yeah, especially the the luck mode. I know the luck it boosts your luck, but it it drops your I think your strength or something. So any hit you take is like massive damage. See, I've never played lucky mode. But yeah, but like the drops they get, you get all like all kinds of crazy shit in the beginning because your luck's so high, and plus your criticals too. You get a lot of critical hits and stuff. Oh, like that. you so, still get hit. Yeah, but yeah, just yeah, that's the thing. You just cannot get hit. As soon as you get hit, it's almost like the Richter run. If you don't have a lot of those life life jars, you get hit by something, it's over. I mean, it's just ridiculous. All right, I think I think that just about does it. You know, Castlevania City Night. Go go play. Go go, go play it properly with the, with Alucard, your boy Alucard. Yeah, do it do it that way. You, do, you you know, I mean, it's cool with Richter, but I mean, you know, like you you want to embrace the story and everything. You so, know, so yeah, Alucard's if, the way. To go. If you see that that, uh, that there's not a way for you to play, it's like on fucking everything. It's man. on everything, bro. It's no escaping it. Like, and it's I, cheap I, as we, fuck. We were just talking about the mobile version. Like the mobile version is like two bucks. So there you go. You know, play it on the go. Yeah. I mean. Um, well, thank you for joining us. My name is Volt with Productors, and thank you, Show, for uh, doing a little recording with me. It's been a pleasure. Um,